Hey guys, it is Jeremy and Lee again, and we are starting our next video. Um, I just wanted to start out because uh, I have been told by my best friend that I kind of look like a deer in the headlights. I've been very shy. And um, I'm so unlike you. <laughs> and so um, I just wanted to start this video out uh, and say um, he sent me this picture uh, of Cindy Brady, and I'm going to share that with you now. And that's what he said I look like. So, uh, so yeah, I just wanted to start this video out and, uh, and be a little bit more exciting and personable for you guys. Engaging. Engaging, yes. Yeah, we're both learning. We're not, we're not natural public speakers. Um, so we've got to just learn just to relax a little bit. I guess yes, shake it out. Exactly. Shake it up, shake it up. So, oh, I love that you're representing Texas today. Yes, I have a bunch of family in Texas. Uh, in Houston, Dallas, amazing. Love, love Texas, love Louisiana. Love so, yes, so I'm representing Texas um, today. Uh, so what are we doing today? I am doing an open cup pour, traveling open cup pour. Awesome. And you? Uh, I am going to try and redeem myself and do a Dutch pour that isn't as muddy or as watery as the very first one I did. I thought the first one was actually very nice. Well, but. you're married to me, hence you have to say that. But I, I actually liked the way it came out, but I do cute. want to try and do the Dutch pour again. So that's my yes. plan for today. Awesome. Uh, well, let's get started. All right, guys. Um, I This is Jeremy. I have flooded my canvas already and uh, got my paints all together. Um, what was the ratio on our paints? Uh, it's our normal pouring ratio, so it's two to one flow to paint, but no water because it's the open cup. Got it. Um, these are the colors that we picked. We have the Deco Arts Matte Metallic. Um, what color is this? What pewter? Is this? Pewter? I think it's the pewter. Oh yeah, here it is, pewter. Um, we have the Arteza, Arteza? However you pronounce you it. Potato, I think it's potato, Right, time. exactly. Pearl Lime Green. We have the Arteza Scarlet Red. We have the Arteza uh, Pearl Pink, which I love. And the Pearl Sky Blue Arteza also. Um, so I'm gonna jump right into it and put my cup right here. And go ahead and start. I'm gonna start with the pewter. And let's see here. That red, the red really, really showed through. I thought it was going to be very dark because of the pewter, but actually it didn't end up being the pewter. It was the red that was the pewter. I know. Color, and you've got so love love it on the painting. I know. But I guess it's just because the other colors are so pastel. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm thinking about maybe just adding a little bit of like blue through here. Kind of, but I'm trying to figure out a way that I can do that without, like, hey, I'm dripping paint. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna fuss with it anymore. Um, I'm just gonna get the corners really good again, and we'll just have to see what it looks like when it dries. So, let me see. Let me get a 
You know what I could do is take some of the swirl right here and put it right there. It's okay, now watch. Bam, took a little bit of the red out, got a little bit of color in there. It's like, okay, it looks like it looks like it goes with this right here. And you always look like you knew what you were doing now. <laughs> Lord knows I really have no idea what I'm doing. I think I'm just good. I'm just copying everybody. So but anyway, this is the finished result. Um we will we will see what it looks like dry on our next the ending of our next video. And thank you guys for going through this with us. Anyway, so this is it. Thank you. All right, so um, it's Lee here. Now I'm gonna attempt a Dutch pour. Um, I've already flooded my canvas. You uh, saw Jeremy do that earlier, so you don't need to watch me do it. Um, I have the same colors, but I already know from previous experience and watching Jeremy's pour that the red and the pewter are gonna seriously overtake all the other colors. So I'm gonna be really careful with the red and the pewter. Um, I'm gonna attempt to do a Dutch pour with the colors in the middle. Um, I'm hoping I've got enough white on my canvas. I hope you guys can hear us. We had a little bit of technical difficulties the other day. We bought new mics and forgot to turn them on. So uh, <laughs> I'm hoping that you can hear us now. Um, all right, so I'm gonna layer out first my colors. And I am gonna do a circle. The Dutch pours, we don't need to have under the paint. These pastels are so light and when you blow them out they're clearly even lighter. So I'm not gonna use a ton of the red in the pewter like I said. So I'm literally gonna drizzle this on the top. And the same with the pewter. Because I still want to use all the colors that Jeremy used, but I'm really conscious of how they're going to come out. Okay, so um, I'm going to take the hairdryer and blow this out, hopefully, in four ways. Um, I could use the mini blower on the whole painting just because it's so small, but. Um, I'm not particularly comfortable with the mini blower just yet, so I'm definitely gonna use the big air dryer. Okay, so let's try this and see what happens. Okay. just to blow out some of the edges because I love how the edges look all wispy and there's little parts of this that don't. So um, I, I prefer using this than kind of just blowing on the painting. So I'm just gonna use it just really gently to take out some of those edges. I think it's a really awesome tool. It was super cheap, but it's definitely something I really enjoy using. I'm sure there's a link to it actually on our video. Just taking some of those edges out.
and because there's a fair amount of white on this canvas, the white will probably swallow up a little bit of this paint anyway, so I don't mind taking it out just a little bit. All right, it came out a hell of a lot greener than I really thought it was gonna. Um, I like the middle of this, so I'm not gonna blow this out anymore. Um, and I certainly like all the edges of it. So that's me done. Um, a really quick and easy and dirty Dutch pour um, using exactly the same colors that Jeremy did. I'll take a popsicle stick and qu quickly just go around all the edges just to make sure that I've got all the drips. Um, but you've seen us do that a ton of times. Um, I'll take you in for a quick close up and you can see all the colors. All right, guys, we are done for the day, and we just wanted to show you what the paintings looked like for last uh, video. The, the last video. So, why don't you go first? All right, Brady. Um, <laughs> what was she called again? Cindy Brady. Cindy Brady. <laughs> um, I had a nightmare day today, by the way. People who are watching, I scraped my canvas twice before I got what I wanted. Um, luckily, this was the first try from the paint dustpan pool that I did the other day. Um, so, hopefully you can see the wonderful, wow, look at the shimmer, the gold and the pearl paints in it. Almost kind of looks like it's got 3D peaks. Definitely going to call this one blue sound wave, because that's what it kind of looks like to me, like a sound wave. Um, first try at a dustpan pour, definitely going to keep going at it, definitely going to get better at it. But that was my canvas. Yes. And then my canvas. Turn on the door. Yeah, I really, I, I really like how That's this came out. Does. So I'm gonna hold it right there so you can see it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna come in a little, a little closer, and it just shimmers again. Yeah, it really Ooh. catches the light. Beautiful. It really catches the light. What I love about the double cut pour is this like you know this line that runs through it because the two pores were top and bottom it looks really cool yeah i really like this piece a lot hope you do too so so that was mine and um that's it well done that was it well done on some yeah. successful pours yeah. don't forget to like and share the video people um it means a lot to us for you guys to subscribe. Absolutely. Um, we love seeing all yeah. your comments. If you want to see us do a certain color palette, we will totally do that. That would be great for you guys to suggest yeah. some color palettes for us. I know. Please. Um, and like and subscribe and share it for us. We appreciate you all. Thank you for watching. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.